Hello viewers, welcome back. She has been regarded as not only one of the most beautiful politicians we have around, but also one of the brightest. On top of this, she wears many hats. Prior to her joining the political scene, she was a television actress, radio presenter, songwriter, video vixen, business lady, just to name a few. If we could name the people that have hustled their way to the top, I'm pretty sure her name would be on that list. Away from that, her beauty has gained her not only admirers, but also loyal supporters. It is no doubt that when he declared her interest in leading the people of Moranga, she got an overwhelming win over her competitors. But who is she away from the limelight? What was her journey like? Here's everything you need to know about Sabina Shege Wanjiro. She was born in 1972 in a poor and humble background in Moranga County. She started her education at Matu Primary School before switching to Kenyona Primary School where she sat for a CPE earning herself an admission at Mogoiri Girls High School. Immediately after high school, she enrolled for a course at the Kenya Institute of Management then proceeded to enroll for a bachelor's in education at the Great University of Nairobi before later enrolling for a master's degree in communication at the same university. Being very outgoing, it didn't take her too long to land a job. She started off as an actress at Tausi, the legendary show at KBC that kept us hooked in the late 90s and early 2000s. Here, she played the role of Rehema. As the show was at its dying state, she saw an opportunity as a radio presenter at Shoro FM which is owned by KBC and seized it. At Shoro FM, her fame grew even more to the point of being promoted to the position of Head of Financial Services. Kamem FM were also impressed by her and being a new station, they needed someone who was well known. They came for her and offered her a management role with a bigger salary. Sabina Shege found this offer very tempting and decided to take it. Before this, she had also featured in a song, Njataya Akwa, done by the legendary John DeMadio as a video vixen. DeMadio dedicated this song to a special someone and the way they were close to each other in the video, many speculated that this song was dedicated to her. She however dismissed this claim saying she was just a friend to DeMadio. While at Kameme, she met Amos Kimunya and before we knew it, they got married. Kimunya must have gotten confused by the charm of Sabina, no doubt. Together, they were blessed with two lovely kids before they divorced when Amos Kimonia was drowning in depression after losing his KPP receipt. Sabina Shege, just as Nairobians would put it, and before you know it, the then Kenya Dairy Board Chairman, Maina Gadeto, now retired, took her as his second wife and together they had another kid. She entered the scene of politics after being elected as a woman rep for Muranga County in 2013 before being re-elected again in 2017. Away from that, she has always been at the forefront in impacting the society in a positive way through her Sabina Wanjiro Foundation, which is focused on improving and developing the lives of women and youth. We hope she continues to inspire us even more. Onwards and upwards, Mwereto Eto. Be sure to get more of this in the coming days. Do like, share and subscribe.